today by finally uh, Keyshawn Bray, owner of Team Kill. Keyshawn, how you doing? I'm doing excellent right now. Great, yeah, back from the Navy, doing, yeah, back at home for Christmas break, and now he's on his car. Yep. Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, you are a team to many of our, like, to many of us who don't, or to many of the teams in this league who don't know you, uh, you are a man of mystery. Yep, that's how I love started it. Started way back in the draft, took T.Y. Hilton number one overall. Explain. T.Y. is my favorite receiver out of the whole NFL. Everybody has, like, um, Megatron. I personally think T.Y. is the best receiver in the NFL right now. Okay, then. Hard, hard, hard to argue with that. Uh, that logic. Uh, not Andrew Luck, though? No, uh, personally, if Andrew Luck going to have a good game, nine times of ten is going to be with T.Y. Hilton because that's his main target. So instead of getting a quarterback, I choose the target, which is T.Y. Makes more sense. You get more fantasy points as a receiver than a quarterback. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I just didn't work out. The, yeah, it did. No. For either uh, of them. No. Your team is built around Colts, and uh, it suffered for a long time. It did. Horribly. But then you got around to setting your lineups, and uh, you did some good things. Especially yeah, I finally got to set it up after work so much. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, you did some good things. You beat Dom and Johnny Brown, and you got me in the playoffs because of that. So thank you very much, sir. Anytime. Always hit up a friend out. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, but that winning streak came to an end this week uh, against We Are Marshall and uh, our friend Rocco. You don't know him. Uh, any analysis from you on that matchup? Uh, honestly, the Colts, everybody, they did completely opposite what I thought. Being yeah. since I had any Colts offense and it's a divisional game, I would I would think they was gonna go undefeated like they did last year. But I guess though Andrew Luck helping out, it really wasn't that much to do. No, he it's has- a it's a different team with Hasselbeck in there. Yeah. But T.Y. still had a good game. But, yeah, he still lost. Mm. Put up a good fight compared to what you had normally put up in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah. This year, Colts, yeah, it was something. It was bad. Just your mindset being the worst team record-wise in the league. <laughs> that was yeah. <suck>. Just. <laughs> uh I have nothing to say to that. It's just bad luck, bad season. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. You did not have the greatest team to start out with, but you made it work. This week you're playing Dom and the Bloody Bastards. You're projected to win right... Yeah, you're projected to win right now, 113 and 104. What do you think? Hmm. I honestly think that might not win this one because of how the Colts, how they, how Masselbeck went down, had a like injury is. I'm not sure, like mm-hmm. for sure, is he playing this this game against the Texans, which is a divisional? And then at that point, we have a third string, which I don't know how he's going to hook up with Ty Andre and how the defense going to come up after that blowout last week. I heard they might be getting luck back though, so I hope so. But they're playing Houston, not the greatest, but they can it, put up some points there. I hope. Yeah, I think you win that. I think you win this week. Dom has been so inconsistent. I yeah. hope. Next, Show up. Besides you, he's probably the worst overall. No offense. <laughs> but just one last question, I think, for everybody in the league. Uh, why Why all Colts? I understand you like the Colts, but you, you have a good amount of them on your team. It's kind yeah. of dangerous. The uh, reason why I chose all Colts this um, league is because of the projection and of the personnel they acquired during the offseason. Like with Andre Johnson, Frank Gore on offense, with Andrew Luck and T.Y., I figure our run game was going to be up more. 
and Andrew Luck will have more than T.Y. And then I'll prompt, like, Moncrief to show up. So that's really why I chose mainly Colts this league, for this league, because of, like, all offseason moves they made. Yeah, because when, when you think about all the preseason hype around them, they, they were pretty... They were pretty hyped up, just not not a great move in fantasy and real in real life football. Yeah, yeah, they're I would project projected them to be a Super Bowl contender back then, but just not in fantasy. It, it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Keyshawn, it was great talking to you, and uh, back to me. All right, thank you. Well, guys, I have another interview on this blog with uh, owner of Blade Bastards, Mr. Dom DiVincenzo, back for another one, round two. Hey, guys, how you doing? Killer loss this week for you, man. This well, week was really bad. 68 and, to 106. It's pathetic to where, it was, where you were just a week ago. Yeah, well, Andy Dalton getting hurt against Pittsburgh was really unfortunate. My two running backs didn't produce as well as I hoped they would. Um, I benched Willie Sneed, and of course he had almost a 20-point week. I just really wasn't predicting Willie to do as good as he um, was projected to do because he was out last week with a minor injury. So, But there were a couple guys that did come out for this week, like Ted Jinn, uh, uh, Theo Riddick had a, yeah, Theo Riddick had a, a decent good game. week. Uh, everyone else, single digit points. Just, just yeah. bad. It was not a good week. For Jason, he had a, another pretty moderate week for him. and That was enough to get by that mediocre effort by you, no offense. Yeah. It but. just wasn't a really good week. And also another thing I want to point out, losing Mark Ingram really hurt me too. Yeah. That was... As soon as... You, like, I just want you guys to know, he texted me the night that it was announced that Mark Ingram was going on the IR. He texted me, sorry about Ingram. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I go on the ESPN app, and it says, Mark Ingram, IR. And I just could not believe it. He's been with me since the draft. I drafted him either round two or yeah, three. Yeah, picked up Luck first. Yeah, because Luck was my first round pick, and I've had him ever since. And he did phenomenal this season, and it really sucks that he got hurt and he's out for the rest of the year. He got to Jeremy Hill as a little bit of a something, but he, yeah, yeah he did, not much. He, he didn't do as well as I looked into his past. His, he uh, has up and down games. As he a, does. As an owner of him, former owner of his. I right. Think we're talking about slaves here. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, it's a good game to Jason, though. Obviously, he saw the update about Gronk, so he was able to play him this week. Um, all the way from Disney World. All the way from Disney World. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. It's that time of year. Yeah, he's hope, you're having World. hope you're having fun, Jason. A big win for you this week. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, huge week. Uh, uh, honestly, I think Ted, he deserved to. Uh, he deserved to uh, move on. He's had such an incredible year, week after week. I mean, the last five weeks just have been my entire season. Definitely. After coming off a two and seven record, coming out to make it to the playoffs, that's incredible. Started two and seven now here. But it's um, like what Ted said too. I mean, if you're not keeping up to date with injuries and whatnot, then it's going to hurt you in your lineups and pickups and whatnot. That's honestly what you've been keeping an eye on. So, props to you. Yeah. For that. Just you just have to stay on top of things. NFL's a crazy crazy thing especially this year yeah just heartbreaking for you man yeah, I know you tried so hard all year you've done all these amazing things for the league and uh, the media content we put out together shout out uh, Donnie another uh, another bad loss this week to the other end gardener in the league my brother yeah yeah. To, well, I feel like Cam Donnie's sort of like in the same boat with me like his lineups sometimes his lineups can be good when his players produce, but if he doesn't set them right, then he can have some off weeks like I have. But honestly, he has some incredible players. Obviously, Cam Newton that comes out every week. But I like his analogy. Just it's Cam, and then everyone else inside of back back on. That's pretty much how your season has been. But Cam shows up like he always does, and so many others do that. 
you produce and that backpack goes wild. Yep, but when that backpack, you know, falls off from some wear and tear, you know, then Cam just kind of falls back and that happens. But hopefully next year, next year will be a lot better, especially for me, coming off of an auto-drafted team. Um, I mean, hi. But um, hopefully next year I'll be able to We're talking come to the actual draft and well, and we'll be able to I'll be able to get a much better team this year. Next year, I mean. Yeah, you want to talk some matchups? Yeah, yep, absolutely. We'll start in the consolation bracket with uh, your matchup against Keyshawn. Um, in all honesty, if Keyshawn's team comes out to play like he did the first time I played him, he's probably going to get the win. But if my team comes out to play, then I feel like I'm going to get the win. It's just going to be a matter of whose team going to come out to play. Yeah, a nice little revenge game for you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Ke enough. Keyshawn at least have proved himself that uh, that you, he wasn't a one-time wonder in terms of wins. Yeah, so his win against so, Johnny Brown really helped you get into the playoffs too. Which, oh, yeah. But I, in all honesty, I'm coming out for revenge, so watch out, Keyshawn. Yeah, you need to tear up that consolation break. Next matchup, Gronky Kong against Stanky Stank. Um, Gronky Kong and Stanky Stank. Um, in all honesty, I think Stanky this gets this one. It's gonna be close. I think Stanky. Stank, Stanky won last week, didn't he? Uh, against yeah. Johnny Brown. Yeah. Yeah, looking at his team, I mean, he's got Ben. He has Adrian Pearson against Chicago, which should be a good game for him. Um, I like Baldwin against Cleveland. Yep, he has some pretty good players. Yeah. I mean, in case of, well, he's not to saying that nothing, right? Not saying that anything is gonna happen to Ben. I mean, he has Matt Stafford on the bench, which he can't be good when he was he wants to be. So, it honestly, I I think I'm gonna pick Stanky Stank over Gronky Kong. Yeah, would too. Jason is just too inconsistent. Some players are he can put a good bunch of points or just not a lot of points at all. Right. Our next matchup, Team Brown against We Are Marshall. I um, think Team Brown wins a landslide here. We Are Marshall has not been hot at all. Yeah, I know he's moved on to fantasy basketball oh, yeah. and everything. So, but Six and over. Six looking and over. at um, Seven both players' teams, um, right now Johnny Brown, he only has projected 97, but I think somebody's hurt on his team. Yeah, Blunt. Blunt. Like Eric Blunt. <laughs> yep. Like Eric Blunt. Yeah, that was, that's another player that unfor unfortunate injury. So, I mean, he's got some people on the bench that he can replace easy. He can replace them easily. Um, I don't know. I want to go Johnny Brown, but it would be nice to see Rocco get a win this week. Well, that would be I'm, nice. I'm gonna go with Rocco. Well, we are Marshall. I still like Team Brown as long as he remembers the says lineup. Get get the blunts out of there. Stay away from the weed, folks. Get the blunt out of there. I think he comes clean and wins this week. Yeah. Or wait, that, no, we do have one more consolation game. Uh, oh yeah, the winners consolation. A yeah, new winners. Bracket. Con yeah, the winners consolation. We have uh, the two losers of the past week, Donnie and Ted. So yeah, division rivals. Honestly, even though Ted's had two very yeah. off weeks the past two weeks, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with him. Yeah. Just because, just with the theory that we've been talking, we talked about just a little bit ago, how Donnie has Cam Newton, but then everyone else is just in the backpack, and <laughs> it don't, it only helps them out if they um, do their part. What really screwed him last week was a bad lineup. If had he had he said better lineup, he he would have won against Andrew. Yeah, he definitely would have. And just looking at all the games for this week too. Um, it looks like Ted, a lot of Ted starters, aside from Darren Carr, have good matchups. Like LaShawn McCoy at Washington, Todd Gurley at Tampa Bay. That should be a good game, though. I don't know why you sack Gurley. He's a week-to-week -week starter. I know he hasn't been too hot recently, but you never do that. Never, Ted. Uh, next matchup, uh, now to the ones that matter. <laughs> uh, the Walking Dez and my name is Slim Brady. Uh, uh. I mean, Tim is just too good. Slim Brady all the way. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, Andrew, but Slim puts Brady's up, getting this one. Puts up 150 every week. Week at least, out. if not around there. I mean, you expect him to do that every week, no matter his lineup. His bench is stacked. 
Yeah, his bench is stacked. His starting lineup stat has always been stacked. I mean, he just has one. Of, I would say one of the perfectly drafted teams, and he's been it's on not top even of drafted like that. You, that's all trades. And yeah, games. he's. I mean, he's been on top of trades. He's been off of been off, going off of um, waiver claims. Yeah, and everything. So hats off to you, Tim. But. You know, any, anything could happen though. But just look at just looking at the standpoint right now, I feel I feel like that Tim's gonna get this one this week. Yeah, Andrew, goodbye. Walking does will collapse like the zombie that Des Bryant has been this season. And our final matchup this week, mine matchup. against Dirty Dirty Three Thirty and Will Spencer. Um, this is tough. This is I think this is gonna be the game of the week, honestly. As just every like- week, as <laughs> every week has been for me. Why? Um. So much pressure. Yeah. I don't know, because um, Will's team, I think, week thir- yeah week 13, came out. I think he – was that the most points he scored all year, like 169? Probably. I mean, he had the he highest had score game. like that. If, honestly, Eric, if your team keeps playing like it has been, I feel like you're going to go to the final. Gonna, wow. That – Man, the man himself. Good luck. I'm gonna say I win. I've been pre- I've been going against myself forever. I, I finally have confidence in my team that we can win. About Thomas Rawls, I trust Bryce Brown to help do the exact same Ooh. job. Yeah, that's the only thing I was that was my only concern was Bryce Brown. But with um, with Thomas Rawls hurt now, I feel like he that. Bryce Brown will see more playing time, so he'll be able to produce more than what he's projected to do. I don't, I don't think I don't see him being Thomas Rolls, but I see him putting up. I could see him decent numbers still under at oh, Seahawks yeah. offense. Yeah, definitely. And I and right now I'm also kicking myself for trading Antonio Gates, but at the time it was a fair trade. So Charles Clay and Jeremy Hill just underproduced this week. That's all. At the time, it was a good. Yeah. Yeah, at the time, it was a good trade. If you guys have any uh, players you just think are waiting on to on them to produce, you you can't really wait any longer. This week and the next week, and that's it. Yeah, at least in the last two weeks of the season. If you don't plan on playing them, why why are they on your team? It's all throw them away. Good. Yep, basically. And pick up someone else you believe in more, because even if it's your first round pick, you just gotta do it sometimes. But yeah. Uh, Dom, it's great talking to you. All right, same here. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully hope we'll see you all on the 20th. Uh, be there or be square. Yeah, uh, all right, again, uh, several RSVPs. I think he wants to see you there as well. <laughs> Little cameo from my brother. Off camera. Y'all suck. <laughs> Walking Dead 2015. Wait, that's projected to you to lose? Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're playing Tim. So? Yeah. I'm the dynasty breaker. Mostly. But yeah, I hope to see you all there. Text me, let me know if you're coming. Uh, again, thanks to Dom and Keyshawn for you know, letting me interview them this week. And uh, yeah, see you guys on Sunday. <laughs>